and welcome to the BMON News Night, your daily check on the Bonn International Model United Nations. I'm Alexandra Ovchinikova and today's news are... The Economic and Financial Committee, known as ECOFIN, is close to presenting the final draft resolution. Heated debates have lasted for three days, the polluter pays principle being the apple of discord between France and China. While the European countries back fines for farmers who pollute the environment, China is not ready to implement this measure. Still, the parties seem to have reached a compromise. There really isn't that much of a difference since we now actually have removed uh, the most contentious points and they will be voted in on individual amendments. Subsidies for sustainable farming are topic number one on the ECOFIN's agenda. Sustainable farmers are going to receive financial aid on an annual basis as well as technological and know-how support. However, parties seem to have not agreed on the main point. What do they mean by sustainable farming? Cash crops and food crops can be sustainable. The most important thing is that it's socially sustainable. Because of cash crops, um, the food is going outside, outside the country and millions are starving. So we are backing food crops. The issue of sustainable farming definition fell surprisingly out of the discussion. That is why we asked the United States as one of the main UN fund contributors to clarify its position. But we definitely want to develop and becoming more sustainable and uh, changing these cash crops into more sus subsistence agriculture. ECOFIN is also also planning to create a new agency within the Food and Agriculture Organization or the FAO. Its main purpose will be to testify and certify farming products. The FAO has already 21 bodies, half of them specializing on farming. Uh, we have established uh, agencies that are responsible for sustainable agriculture. It obviously increase based on the increased demand, the increased demand for food products. Tomorrow, the draft resolution is expected to be presented. We will keep you updated on further details. These were the main news for today, and now we have uh, some special guests in our studio. Uh, the chairpersons from the Security Council and the ECOFIN are taking part in our news night focus. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are here uh, welcoming two chair members of the Security Council and ECOFIN, and we're very happy and pleased to have you here, gentlemen. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Okay, and today we get a chance to talk, hopefully, about your work and your experiences in the last few days, which hopefully have been very exciting for you. Um, we'll just hear, like, maybe you could just tell us what has been the most interesting or exciting event in the last days in your work as a chairperson. Well, um, we just actually passed a resolution not too long ago, and uh, yeah, we've actually been, despite what the newspaper said about us being very lazy and party animals, we actually got, we've gotten a lot of work done, and uh, right now they're just uh, taking some time off to research the second topic, so yeah, we should be addressing that in the coming days, and uh, yeah, it's been pretty good. That sounds interesting. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we've had the crisis going on and uh, evolving and it's been interesting seeing how the delegates adapt to the developments that come about during the crisis. You can check out the full interview on our website. Youth unemployment is a severe problem. Let's find out whether any of our delegates have already faced it personally. The BIMUN Congress is a great opportunity to have hundreds of young people from all over the world in the same building. Since the youth unemployment is one of the greatest challenges of the European Union and from all the world, we are not going to miss the opportunity to ask them about their personal situation, their personal experience and the personal situation of their home countries. Since I'm Ukrainian, but I live and study in Sweden, so right now I feel secure. Sweden has um, good offers for young people. However, I wouldn't feel that secure if I was living in Ukraine because we face the unemployment issue there as well. Even if students are educated well, it might be hard to find a job since Ukraine is a corrupted country. It's relatively improving now for the, compared to the past years. Because fortunately, we are having um, investors, external investors, who are coming to the country to invest in terms of agricultural, road construction. And um, just recently, we discovered oil, and then there's a company from Britain by the name Talo, 
Talo Oil Company who have invested in the extraction of oil and that have served as an employment for the people in uh, Ghana. There are problems in our, uh, in our country, in Germany, which are about unemployment, but we get really good methods to help them to not get unemployed. So I'm, I'm feeling very secure about my, my future, but only as a college student. I know that we are not a hard-working people. It is not, I study in Germany and have witnessed how Germans are always prepared to work. And actually in Spain we have this saying that says, you have to work for being able to live, not living for being able to work. In Kabul still feel, young, young people are still feeling that they don't have access to higher education. So it's, it's very limited resource in Afghanistan to study higher education. Uh, right now I'm, I have a job, but, but I'm not sure that this will be for a long time my job. Of it's course we're afraid we're going to be forced to be immigrants. We're going to change country because we cannot find a job and at least we cannot, well, we cannot find a job according to what we have studied. This is the worst thing. And uh, yes, it's very de uh, depressing. But we are happy mm -hmm. because we have hope and we think that things might get better in the future. Actually, we have something that we call brains run away because all the students are going to other countries, not only to Europe, but also to the United States or other developed countries to find a job because it's very difficult in Italy if you don't have a very good CV. All the international experience that we could take are nothing if we don't think to improve our country and to implement all the things that we learned away in our policies and in our society. Yeah, we have a high rate of youth unemployment actually. We have kind of 60% of people, of youth people not working and it's really, really bad. You found engineers that do not work, you found, well, pretty much everything. And then most of them are living in the country. Yeah. Now, like loads of people uh, that actually do medicine or law, these kind of like really perspective uh, faculties and then they uh, graduate and then just go abroad because they are well paid in Germany or United Kingdom and it's since it's like really easy to learn English everyone goes there. It really depends though if you want to be like confirming like uh, conformist you don't have gonna have a problems but if you like want to reach your like dreamy positions might like get worse. Thank you Beatrice. Uh, we're turning now to John with a green conference quiz. Today's green conference question has been How much energy can be saved by using recycled paper instead of fresh paper such as this? 50%, yeah. How, how, how the emission be? Like 20%? Enough. 30%. And the answer has been 60%. Thank you, John. And now we're discovering the brightest thoughts of the day. Thanks for being with us and join us tomorrow. Well, I am very impressed um, by the passion that the delegates of the ICJ has shown to us. But I was pretty happy to, um, to see my, my delegates actually speaking for a long time in a row. We managed to get everything done on time for the second time. So that's good. I feel that I learned a lot. Yeah, I was really impressed today because we actually passed the resolution. There was a lot of dancing in the Security Council. A five minute dance of the delegation of Togo and the delegation of the United Kingdom, who unfortunately came late to the session. I really like the way um, the Ecofin committee are kind of bonded because I, we have fun with each other. We had our first letter to the editor today and um, I'll say no more.